Hey, what is up everyone? Killerian here bringing you another video, and I do apologize for having not uploaded a lot, but you'll see more content from me coming soon. So what I have been playing a bit recently is Maple Story 2, and so I wanted to do a quick overview of the characters that are available in the game. Uh, just a brief rundown, I have... A little experience with the Berserker as well as the Rune Blade, uh, and I overall know like the tier of where each class sits as well as like stat priorities and things along those lines. But I just wanted to go over a little bit of what the characters are inside of Maple Story 2, give you a brief rundown so you have an idea of what you might want to play. All in all, the classes are very standard to any MMO, so if you're familiar with a tank, you're going to be familiar with the knight. If you're familiar with a physical DPS, you know, that goes up and just slaps stuff, you're going to be familiar with the Berserker. But, quick rundown. So, the Knight is your standard tank-oriented class. You have a couple of group buffs, a couple of debuffs on the bosses or targets that'll make them take more damage. But, you're primarily a tank-oriented class with, you know, a little bit of CC and things like that. Your primary stat is going to be strength because most classes in this game, regardless of a standard role, your main purpose is going to be dealing damage, uh, more so than being a just a linear, like, all I can do is just face tank hits. Uh, pretty much every class in this game wants to be able to deal some bit of damage. So the knight is your typical tank, one-hander and shield. Um, like I said, debuffs bosses, is the tankiest class out in the game currently, but all in all, you know, sword and board, buff your group, tank some hits. Berserker, which I am the most familiar with, uh, as you can imagine, spin to win class. You can spin around a whole bunch of times with a great sword, uh, or basically go slapstick mode and just stand there and beat the living hell out of whatever is in front of you. They have a mechanic of... Um, basically a rage generation that stacks up 10 times which then allows you to use heavier hitting abilities and things like that and these are everything that I'm talking about is before the awakening as well so um, awakening will be down the road which will expand the class a little bit more as a berserker prioritize pure strength over anything and everything uh, you don't really want to spec for health because you have a percentage based heal and you don't really want to spec for crit because you only have one thing that actually scales off of crit and most people don't spec it into it to begin with. The wizard, classic arcane mage type character, you know, what is it, ice, fire, and lightning, pretty staple. Uh, most people build a fire wave type build. You purely stack intellect because that is going to be your best damage output. Um, all classes have pretty fair AoE capability outside of the Thief overall, and the Rune Blade isn't super good at AoE. But uh, Wizard and Berserker are definitely the best AoE oriented classes in the game currently. Priest is the only healer that's currently in the game. Same thing, you pretty much just stack intellect um, more than anything else. Other than that, you are the only class that is able to heal a group as well as provide overall pretty good damage increase things. You know, basically an aura people can step into, increase attack speed, increase damage. But all in all, like I said earlier regarding the knight as well, every single class in this game focuses more on being able to deal some damage while supporting in one way or another. Archer, oh my goodness, I wonder what this class could do. Well, <laughs> the archer fires a bow and it is a medium range. It's not like super, super long range. None of the classes are in this game. Um, all in all, the main utility of them, they're not the highest DPS in the game. I would say they're mid-tier, but they do provide a buff to your group, which allows you to increase accuracy, which is actually very important, as well as uh, crit rate, if I'm not mistaken. The Heavy Gunner is basically along the lines of an archer, just less utility for a collective group. Um, overall, their damage, they have a little bit more utility in a sense of like they can plant a little thing that heals people 
They are a little bit longer range in comparison to the Archer, um, but I would say less consistent DPS and a little bit more burst. Personally, I haven't seen a lot of people playing the Heavy Gunner. I don't believe that they're like a super high DPS class. The Thief, which is currently ranked the lowest out of all the classes at the moment, um, is primarily single target dealing with a lot of actions of poisons as well as just fast attacks. All in all, um, when I was playing the Thief class, I have a level 22 one right now, it doesn't feel like a very intuitive class to play, and I found like a lot of their moves were fairly like janky, but your primary stat line with this is going to be de dexterity, same thing with the Archer, pretty much pure dex with everything. Um, right now, Thief is considered probably the cl like a D-tier class. The s rank classes would be the Assassin, the Wizard, and the Berserker. Otherwise, you know, a rank would be Knight, Priest, and probably Rune Blade. And then C would fall on, like, Archer and Heavy Gunner. And then D-Rank for the, the Thief. <coughs> Sorry for the dog. And anyway, the highest single target DPS class in the game currently is the Assassin. And kind of a unique thing about the Assassin is the stat priority that you want to have for the um, for the class is actually luck. Because Assassins have the ability to go over the 40% crit cap. And so you can essentially achieve a 100% crit rate with this class, which is fairly interesting. And the Assassin is not a melee character either. It's actually a mid-range with a shuriken uh, oriented class that is fairly easy to play from my um, from everything that I've read, everything that I've seen, and uh, currently they are viewed as the highest DPS class in the game. Once Ascension comes out, I have heard that their Ascension isn't as good as other classes, however. Runeblade, this is a mixed elemental damage melee character. You want to purely stack strength because they have a passive, which gives them 70% uh, of their strength. They gain as intellect, which affects magic damage. But basically, half of their damage output comes from uh, physical. Half of it comes from magical in accordance to what you want to attune your weapon to. So this being something like you can attune your weapon to fire and have it you know, have certain skills deal damage over time. You can have it attuned to lightning and cause it to chain lightning effect and bounce due to, to do a little bit more AoE. All in all, it's a pretty unique class, and I think there's a lot of um, min-maxing that can be done with it. Um, however, overall, most classes are fairly simple in the game. I don't think anything is too excessively hard um, as far as like min-maxing whenever it comes to how to play a character. But I do believe that every single one of these classes allows you to kind of build your own spec if you wanted to and still perform at a decent level. I just wanted to do this brief, brief rundown, guys, because this is the game that I've been playing. This is what I've been enjoying. I've been playing it pretty much every single day since the head start began uh, and it is totally free to play published by nexon they have not made it pay to win or anything like that yet so all in all i am having a good time i just wanted to do a quick rundown to give people an idea of what the class is what you would primarily be stacking as far as your stat priority and just overall hopefully y'all hop into the game i'm going to be going over a couple other videos as well in the near future of the combat what there is to do in the game but first and foremost i just wanted to give people a class rundown thanks for watching catch y'all next time peace peace